Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 121 of my Direwolf 20. 1.18 Let's Play. We're back over here at the mob system. Right? I've been trying to figure out ways that I could battle this situation here. Uh, so what I've come up with is uh, I put a sensor on uh, this jumbo tank to read when the essence gets to 32 buckets like this. Um, and once it does, it will send a redstone signal turning off this torch, which will then open uh, this pipe <laughs> to allow the essence to go through to uh, to our ender tank. Now, here's the thing. Um, ultimate mechanical pipes are really fast, and this holds 32 buckets, so it should be able to transfer 32 buckets, like, boom, instantly, all at once. Uh, so I should get as, if there is a loss, I should get as little as possible. <laughs> Uh, because I know that on the other end, it will. It doesn't really matter what what it does on the other end, as long as it gets there. <laughs> as long as it gets there, that's what I want. Uh, so I think that'll work. Uh, it just takes it a while to get 32 buckets. It's at 21 right now, so it should be there in a while. Um, I've been waiting for this. So while I was waiting, I kind of started tinkering around with uh, some RF tools um, using the screen controller and a screen and, of course, these uh, little transmitters and receivers uh, for redstone. I did not know this, but I was playing around with it earlier. Um, I had a transmitter over here and I was testing how far it could transmit a signal. And I so I put the transmitter here and then I put a receiver over here. And of course, you know, it got it here. And then I went a little bit further. I went over here and it got it from here. And then I went all the way over here. And it put the signal all the way over here too. So I went all the way down to the bottom to see if it would put a signal all the way down there. And it did. <laughs> it will transmit it. I don't know if there is a limit to how far that will transfer. So that got me thinking. Um, I, I really want like a control room. I want to be able to control things from a central area. So... I put in this little screen controller with the screen here and here's my transmitter. So this is sending out a signal based on this uh, button, <laughs> which is a module you can get for your screen. Uh, so if I push this, it should toggle the redstone signal on here, which should go up here and turn on the lights on my mob farm. Uh, turning it off. So there you go. Um, I would like to be able to for this to say mob farm on, uh, but I, I don't know how to do that. Um, uh oh. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if I'd like the red though. Maybe we should do like uh, magenta. Is that better? Yeah, that looks a little bit. It just looks like it's 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 a. But yes, I really wish it would say like uh, mob farm on or mob farm off <laughs> uh, so that you know I guess um, that's what uh, the redstone signal is for 
let's see. So if I were to do the redstone signal module, oops. Uh, so like I want to set it up to that. Oops. Um, let's do mob farm. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to, let's make that one green and that one is red. Okay, I don't know if that's going to do. Oh, look. Okay, so it says mob farm on. Is it really on or is that backwards? Uh, yeah, that's backwards. So the lights are on, but the mob farm is off. So I need to, I got to be careful with this because I got to be far enough away when I shift click that I can't pick the screen up because I've done that uh, so many times. So uh, let's say off and red. On and <laughs> okay, <laughs> I had a phone call, it distracted me, and I kind of twiddled with it. Okay, so I can turn this mob farm off and on and determine whether it's off or on just by looking. I really wish I could get uh, the label, like the, if I could get the message to align to the right and this to align to the left, that would be, that would be great. So, but I don't know how to do that. Uh, yeah, I don't know that... Uh, that I can align this stuff. But it is working. Like I can turn this off and on at will. Ha <laughs> ha. It's okay. The mob farm should be on now. Lights are off. Yeah, this doesn't get as many mobs as I remember, you know, the old cursed earth getting. It was just crazy insane. But, I mean, it's it's really pretty powerful being able to have increased mob spawns. It takes a lot, a lot of the hassle out of building is huge huge mob farm just so you can get some uh some spots but yeah i am really happy with that um that, that opens up so many possibilities of what you can do and oh, oh man so i can have like more screens more transmitters more receivers <laughs> controlling all of my stuff um Dude, and the Direwolf 20 uh, laser I.O. sensor is awesome. I mean, it's basically you have a level emitter for everything now, which is crazy. That's usually something you only get the privilege of having once you get into digital storage. Uh, so I think that is... Um, even more powerful than laser I.O. itself. That is such a huge, huge um, thing. I like it. So, uh, how are we doing over here? Oh, it must have went through. It's down to 9400 now. Um, 
So that should mean it's over. It got sent over. Oh, man, and I missed it. Uh, it didn't have that long to run through all of it. I don't think. Um, although the mana pools look a little bit fuller than they did before. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> this is hilarious because um, I was uh, thinking, ah, I was thinking um, of how I cannot see exactly what my mana pool level is because it's not a this is not a numbers mod it's never been well how many how many pieces of charcoal will it take for me to fill up a mana pool <laughs> um, like how much mana does one piece of charcoal get you they don't really give you that information and i was looking in the book uh, for Lexica Batania, and I, uh, I was looking on ways to uh, activate uh, or deactivate uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the uh, functional flowers that I have here. Um, and I was reading about that, and only the uh, some functional flowers require redstone root when you create them and those flowers can be toggled off and on with a redstone signal uh, the bellathorns had a redstone root in the recipe so those can be toggled on and off the falling canods cannot <laughs> they so i don't know i cannot shut those off so it's sad, but I can't do it. But while I was looking for that, I found this um, uh, section on, let's see, where was it? I think it was on miscellaneous. Was it miscellaneous? Yes, <laughs> there it is. There at the very end. Numerical mana. This was such a eye-opening uh, section of this book okay so it tells you all you need to know about numbers and mana and and how to go about you know achieving all your dreams <laughs> just no no <laughs> no numbers and mana no There you go. Uh, I got that from the book, uh, so I know it's legit. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have been over here just having having fun at my underground base, uh, trying to decide what I want to hook up to a screen next, <laughs> because this was super cool. I like having the ability to shut my mob farm off or turn it back on uh, that is great um, I really want to catch this guy going and man that thing if uh, if that system used up all of that 32 buckets <laughs> that quickly and and this took so long to get the 32 buckets oh. Um, I still think putting a mob system, a smaller one, over there dedicated solely to producing essence for that system, um, yeah, I think that would be a good solution, um, because, I mean, I'm not 100% certain that this is what is happening. Is this my guess? Um. That it just seems to be accepting large amounts, uh, but the smaller amounts just get lost. Uh, 
they just don't go anywhere at all. So I'm hoping that this will do the thing. And I'm assuming that this worked since it, uh, the essence is no longer here. <laughs> so I'm assuming that this triggered it correctly. I was worried if that was going to feed the signal into the block correctly or if I needed to put it into a repeater and then to the block. Uh, so uh, that is promising <laughs> that it worked correctly. Sometimes things just don't work the way you think they will work. Uh, here we go. Uh, I did. I definitely want to go and double check. Like I want to have it sent through and then run over there and make sure that it actually got there. <laughs> um, and I should be able to tell fairly quickly if if most of it or all of it made it over there. I'd be happy with most of it. <laughs> uh, you know. I don't know. Oh, it's getting close. I want to see it in action. Oh, it's close. Okay, here it goes. Oh, look at that snap. Boom. Gone. It's over there. Coliseum. Aha. It looks like we got some over here. Got 1,800. Boom. Oh, man. So, uh, by the time I got over here, there was 1,800 left. Um. Mm. I'm not, not sure that that is very good. Uh, so of 32 buckets, I mean, I know there was a little bit of time, like a second or two before I teleported over here. But, uh, hmm. yeah, that was not... Uh, that was not a lot. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what to do about that. I was expecting to come over and see maybe at least half of it still here, but not like 2,000. Um. Oh, wow. That was uh, quite. I, I was figuring. You know, maybe I would be lucky and I would get like 28 buckets or something. I wasn't expecting it to be such a small amount of 32 buckets. Uh, it didn't seem like it took it that long to chew through it, but I guess I mean, it's hard to say. I guess I could, what I could do is I could take these little guys off. Just yoink them. Or I could, <laughs> I could just be smart and not turn them on. And then when it happens again, I can come over and see how much got transferred. So I think I'm going to do that real quick. Uh, I'm going to let it cycle again and then come see how much stuff we got over here uh, okay so let me go over there so i'm gonna wait and then when it's done i'll show you what happened okay it's almost there at the 32 buckets uh so let's let it happen bloop all right it all got transferred and we know that it's not getting eaten up now. Like, where? Okay, here it is. 
Um, there must have been like a little bit in there, but it looks like we got all 32 buckets uh, over there and none over here. All right, well, that foils that plan or that theory. Um, it looks like we got all of it. Uh, plus 380. Uh, so I'm guessing that once it hit 32,000, it had a little bit extra. Uh, it's hard to determine how much extra that was and, and how much got taken away. I don't know, but it looks like we got it all. I don't know. I don't know. That's crazy. Um, let's see how long it takes it to run through the 32 buckets. <laughs> Obscenely short amount of time to do the things oh man less than a minute so yeah um 32 buckets is not a whole lot in the grand scheme of things uh but it looks like that is enough to transfer where there is no loss or very little loss uh, um, because it just doesn't seem to like to trickle i don't know nobody likes to trickle uh, so I, I don't i don't know what to do about that uh, so i'm thinking i'm probably uh, i do like the idea that i can shut the system off i can have mobs spawning over there just to provide essence for it and then shut it off <laughs> when I don't need it. That just seems like a win-win situation. And then I still have this system over here that I can control with this button. Boop. Off. On. Off. On. <laughs> I like that. Uh, now what I'm curious is can I have more than one screen over here? Um to do other things uh, like can I have different transmitters lined up and have them on like one screen or do I need multiple screens um, I think it if it was on the same screen it would be kind of confusing or something uh, so I don't know, maybe if I run out of room, so like how many is that? One, two, three, four. So I could get, I don't know, four of them and bring them up over here. Ah! <laughs> A boop. Oh no. Okay, so maybe I need... I can't, I can't shoot it. Oh, no! Why? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, it's what happens when you get the stray things. Uh, yeah, this one didn't... Wait a minute. I'm missing, missing a card. Oh, it's down there on the bottom. It went through here. Now, can I? No, he didn't go right in. <laughs> so, um, I guess I can use this little guy. Um, seriously? It broke it. Ah, okay. So what I need to do is probably get a block of some sort here, but just a temporary one, you know, it's probably going to be replaced with a transmitter. It'd probably be best to, oh, I forgot one. Ah, 
lost the one. Okay, there. So this tells you about sneak right clicking for the GUI and insertion of modules. It does not tell you about how sneak right click is also bound to <laughs> the ability to pick items up and move them somewhere else. So yeah, you have to be far enough away from it to where you can't pick it up to interact with it. So yeah. That's no good. Uh, but what I have figured out is that, oh, um, do I need to scan? Does it automatically uh, detect these? Hmm. And maybe if I need to, I can have more on this bottom part or something. I don't know. Um, I do know that maybe I would like to, um, why are you, why are you, oh no, oh no, no, okay, why are they not working and I have so much power, oh, is it because of, I've got, like, all of these not working, I've got one set. Oh, now it's, now it's working. Okay, it's just these that are, why are you, uh, I know why these two are not working, but I don't know why these are not working. Huh. That is weird. It's like the blocks reoriented themselves because uh, I made sure I placed them all with their facings out so that I could see the crafting when it occurs. So, And it's really dark over here as well. I may need to get some lights and such. Um... <laughs> So what I want to do is I want to be able to, oh, coffee gone. I want to be able to uh, take my mob system and say, for instance, there's something that I can only get with the mob grinding because uh, they're like two different essences. The mob grinding utility gives you fluid XP and the other, uh, you know, Industrial foregoing gives you the mob essence. Um, I'm I'm thinking that sometimes those are compatible and you can switch between the two, uh, but sometimes they're they're not. Uh, so I don't know. I just think that maybe there might be a good reason <laughs> to have an option to do this. So what I want is to be able to have a button that will toggle between um, the mob, uh, the mob essence and the fluid XP. Um, so, oh, I would have to set up. See, it's tricky because the uh, the mob grinders don't have a way to automatically pick up their loot. So I would have to, I would have to activate a hopper as well, but I, I can do that. I can do that. Here's our trusty absorption hopper. Um, so with this, we kind of needed two um two importers um we definitely want the acceleration parts to uh because we need to get that stuff out of there as quickly as possible uh, one for fluids
Um, and I think I have to I have to specify which flute. Honestly, I was gonna say that it's it's okay that if this picks up the items, uh, but I don't um, I don't want it picking up the wrong fluid, but I don't think it will because if I tell it to get the fluid XP, uh, then it's not going to pick up the essence, right? Uh, so that should be good. And then this should just get all the items. All right. So we do up items and what is this? Mm, that is north. North, right? Fluid. Oh, and we need to get the area. We need to, we need to go down three. Is that good? Yeah. And then to the south. Oh, two or three. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that is perfect. That is perfect. Okay. <laughs> so that should uh, be able to handle that. Uh, my, my only thing is, with this setup, if this picks up items, I don't care. It's only going to pick up Fluid XP when Fluid XP is dropping. So I don't need to turn this off and on. I just need to turn this off and on. Uh, because this isn't going to pick up any fluids. It's only going to gather it in its own internal buffer. Uh, so that should be okay. What are you doing, buddy? 24,000. Um, okay, so I could just... I could just hook this directly up. And I have some cables on me, so do this. Uh, now, the tricky part is, okay, not only do I have to activate the mob grinders and the bands, uh, but I also have to deactivate the mob crushers. Uh, so, I think if I put a block here... When I feed a signal into the block, it should activate. Uh, it should activate the fans. Uh, but if I turn, send a signal to that activating that block, then I can say, "Hey, this block is activated, so you need to stop." So what I can do is get rid of you. Let's get some nice bricks instead of uh, that. So let's get a brick. Put a brick here. And a brick there. Everything we want to activate, we'll just put a brick next to it. Right. Um. Actually, who? That can't be a brick. We have to feed it into those blocks right there. Okay. So that is. Uh, we need to set these to. Only work without a redstone signal. Run with no redstone signal. When it receives a redstone signal, it will not work. Okay, so that is exactly what we want. 
Oh, buddy. Uh, this is getting complicated. Okay, so we need a transmitter for up top and a bunch of receivers. I don't know how many. Let's go. Oh. Uh, transmitter. There we go. Receiver. Let's see. I need one, two, three, four, five. I could either do two transmitters or one transmitter with, I think I'll just do two transmitters. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six transmitter or receivers, sorry. Next. Oop. Sweet. Okay. Uh, so let's go place our receiver. Whoa! Ouch! I think if I do know. I do that. Oh, okay. Um, I think I can turn that. There. We, oh, there we go. Okay, so now if I get a button. And see let's get the button module i don't think i i don't think i auto crafted that one let's do the button, the button screen module there we go and there we go Oh, this is going to be so good. Okay. Can I just... Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. So we can tell it to... Oh, now that we have that, we need... To... Oh, I think... Um, hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to bind this to the channel. So... Set to channel 16. Uh, we're going to call this, um, but still the mob farm. Um, let's call this the mob grinders. Right, because uh, when we turn this on, it's going to activate the mob grinders. So we can get the button. We want it to toggle. Let's say mob grinder. There we go. And we'll need one of the redstone things. Yeah, the redstone screen module. Uh, oh, we also have to bind this. Boop. Set to channel 16. Okay. Uh... Let's say if it's positive text, we'll call it on, and negative, we'll call it off. Oh, well, I guess we got the label on, on the thing, so it's the same for this. We don't really need 
this label. There we go. That looks a little bit better. So right now it is true. The mob grinder is off, but we don't have anything hooked up up there. So, oops. Okay, those are set and those are set. Th this should be an easy setup once we get it up here. Uh, so, do you, oh, you are not facing the right way. Ah, oh, this is so good. Okay. Um, okay, I'm just going to turn him. There we go. And then we need one facing this way. Oh, dude. There we go. That worked good. And one more. Or two. Got to get it right on this little... <laughs> yep. Don't want to work. Okay. Now, we should be able to toggle that turn the mob grinder system on and it should deactivate uh, these guys. Oh, this is going to be so good. Oh, wrong way. Let's go do it. All right. Let's hit it. It is now on. The mob grinder is on. It's saying that it's on anyway. Um, its output is 15. Output is 15. Um, these may not work. Mm -hmm. These may, we may be able to fix just by feeding it directly in to the block. That go on. It's hard to tell if it's on. Um, <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, uh, turn this on for a second. Oh, I can see it. I can see that it is on over there, but this one is not. So that is not feeding. Is it because like, it doesn't make any sense why this one isn't working feeding uh, into a block, but this one isn't working feeding directly into there. I mean, it's obvious those guys are not working. And um, are you getting a redstone signal? Hmm. It's getting a 15. But that did not look like it was on. It's not on. Those two are on. But I need this block get the signal um about i can't put a repeater there can i do 
This is weird. Okay, so maybe if we pick these up, uh, get the repeaters. The repeaters should work here, right? Because it should. Uh oh. Okay, I don't, I don't understand why, why this isn't working, but this is. So this one doesn't need a block, and this one does, uh, needs a repeater. So maybe if I did a repeater, oh, I just don't know where I can put a repeater. I don't think you can um, travel on ultimate universe cable with a redstone repeater like can't I can't put it down there so what I might be able to do is oh this is horrible okay um then if I maybe get a super circuit, I can lay it down on there. Super. Super. We'll have one left. I don't really need it to, I just need it to sit on there and give me some of this stuff. Actually, I can just do this. screwdriver Where are you? okay so out here out there so are you getting it now is that working or did i do that oh nope it's work oh <laughs> it's working okay i don't no 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 i trapped <laughs> that's uh yeah okay so i just need to get that over here as well there we go and i need another super circuit oh no super okay, let's look at the circuit I don't know if I can, yeah, there we go. Oh, I did it into the repeater. Uh, see, I don't, I don't know, we might not even need the repeater. Uh, let's see if I can get this to work without the repeater. Let's go instead of going in there. Yeah, it looks like that is working, so we don't need the repeater. Just for some reason that uh, redstone receiver is being quirky <laughs> when feeding into blocks. Uh, so it's still getting the signal, the same signal. It's needed a I need a little help uh, so hopefully that has this shut off oh yeah look it's not uh, it's not progressing through anymore so that tells me that that is shut off nice nice this one too so it looks like we got ah uh, we got that fan working fan working the grinders working that fan and that fan working and the mob crushers are off oh this is so good okay so oh that got picked up by the 
Oh, thank you there. Oh, this is so good. Whoop. And then go mop grinder off. Okay, the grinders are off. The fans are off. And we're definitely getting more mob essence. Sweet. Um, that is pretty cool and awesome. I like that. I'm, I'm going to have a lot of fun connecting more stuff up to screens um, so that I can control them while I'm down here. Uh, because that is going to be where I'm spending most of my time. And I want to, once I get this area over here and this area over here done, oh man, um, I really want this, this area around here to start shaping up into my control room uh, where I can do all the stuff and things from one spot and control everything in this huge monstrous place. Uh, that's the plan anyway. <laughs> it's still very much in progress. Uh, so yeah, I still have a lot of stuff to do. I am tempted to, now that I have all of this stuff uh, laid out how I want it, I'm tempted to take my teleporter and put it up on my main floor. Uh, on my control room. Maybe I can just put it right there or something. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think I'll do that right now. Uh, we need some green stuff. Um, preferably on the side that has my My ME system, let's just give them a little power. Oh, this is going to be great. So now I can zip over to Coliseum. Are we getting any essence over here built up? This should be turned off. So as soon as it gets built up, it should start accumulating. And these can hold uh, a lot. <laughs> uh, so it, I just think it's weird that we can transfer the 32 buckets uh, fine, but it can't transfer a very small amount. Uh, so that is whack. Uh, let's go try our new underground base. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is exactly where I want to be now. Um, I also want to get uh, a teleporter for like the mob farm because that's where the iron level used to be um, ish ish around that level. Um, so I might have one of these corners or one of the sides to be cave entrance in case I decide I want to go do some manual mining because <laughs> I haven't done that in a while so it's quite a novelty now just to go mining uh just to mine uh because you know it's minecraft uh mining is cool <laughs> so yes um I'm gonna go ahead and leave episode here we successfully set up our whole mob system uh, to where we can toggle it on and off or we can toggle the mob grinder at, versus the mob crusher and get both different types of fluid I wonder where where is it putting the fluid XP let's just look at all the fluids uh, so it is getting the fluid XP. It should just be storing it on a disk because I don't have a black hole unit in there for fluid XP. But 
I have, I mean, I'm storing 1.5 million millibuckets, or no, buckets, 1.5 million buckets of steam. Uh, so that's pretty good, right? Um, yeah, I'm like really happy with this. I'm extremely happy with the sensor from laser IO. That is such a powerful tool. I love it. Uh, it looks like we maybe had some, a shipment go over to the Coliseum. Did you? Did you? No. No, it must have just uh, been my imagination. Okay, so, oh, I love this. This is exactly where I want to be. Maybe I might put it in the corner there or something. I don't know. But that's about <laughs> where I want to be. Um, I kind of, I don't know. I think I might move it in the corner so I can leave this area and that area. Well, that area is going to have cables in it so I can't really have this hanging down over there so now that I'm thinking about it I'm gonna go ahead and move it this should be fine and it should be out of the way of future cables so, yeah <laughs> anyway I'm really 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 gonna call it today or this they're they're all off again Don't understand what what that is doing. Let me go see. Uh, like it's like I can't see where. Um. Oh oh. All oh, the cables are gone. Oh. Okay, it's that glitch. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.